is Dan's first uh, Trivically. Um, Dan's a bit of, he's a great rider, a great one-day rider. We saw him uh, almost winning the S Bastogne Liège for the second time there last two weeks ago. Um, he's riding very well at the moment. Um, riding a three-week long tour with the Giro, with the, the, the cold weather normally, which comes in the last week, it's difficult for Dan maybe to kind of have his hopes so high as winning it, but definitely a top five contender and definitely a multi-stage uh, winner potential. Um, Nicholas, of course, is very similar. Um, but um, like once again, Nicholas is first time riding in a role as uniquely team leader for the world this, for the Giro this year. And of course, Philip Dagnan being um, not part of the Roach family, but part of the era that Nicholas and Dan Martin both came from. Uh, he's doing very well this year with the Sky team. And um, I think he will be quite capable of winning a stage, not for the overall, but winning a stage on, the, on this year's Giro. Any advice I'd have to them is just kind of treat every day as it comes. Uh, like you're looking to the end is one thing where you want to be overall, overall GC, but don't miss an opportunity because uh, what's in the bag is, stays in the bag and um, you, know, you can't go back on it. The Giro was very, very long. Um, the last week is going to be very, very hard. So any opportunities they might have in the first two weeks, take them. Thank you.